Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Now, this video is another album review. Now, today's album that we have to review today is the new Party Next Door album, P3. Now, I'ma keep it real, I'ma be honest. Party Next Door is somebody that I have been sleeping on. The only way that I would be able to hear his music is if I would hear it on like a Drake song or something like that. But he released his album and I thought, you know what? I review albums on this platform. So this gives me a good opportunity to start looking at different kinds of music. So I gave this album a chance. And I am safe to say that I came out pretty impressed but then again, I came out kind of indifferent at, a, at the same time, if you know what I mean. This album has some hits on it. This album has some heavy hitting, uh, sensual bangers, if I can say so myself. If that's the word that we put it, then that's the word that it has. And that's the stuff that it gets. This album will make you want to call up your girlfriend and be like, yo, what are you doing tonight? It has happened on multiple occasions. I'm just going to keep it real. The production the beats on this thing i really enjoy the production most of the songs have like this little eerie feeling going behind them but then they're always backed up with like that trap boom instrumental the <laughs> one thing that i do have to say about party next door though is that his voice is very raw like with this project i don't get an actual polished finished voice i get a real raw raspy grizzly kind of voice and that is kind of cool because it gives you a different kind of sound it gives you a nice authentic feeling but then again after a while i'll keep it real his voice kind of gets annoying and that's where the drawbacks come for this album there's plenty of hits and misses here like for at least five or six of the songs on this album there would be like one song premise like maybe he's writing about someone maybe he's writing about a breakup and it's cool for those five or six songs, but like 18 songs just full of the same thing, again, kinda gets repetitive. And then even though I do believe that he has a raw, kinda decent voice, sometimes some of the things that he does with his voice are just some things that I just don't like at all. Like on the song 1942, which is a song that I really enjoy by the way, the chorus when he goes, I got two shot glasses going down. And then at the end of it where he goes, it's just something that I just don't enjoy. And if you go on a mission and search through this album, you will be able to find countless numbers of sounds going on in the back of the song that don't need to be there. But for this album, I do have some favorite songs. Songs like Don't Run or Nice, songs like Don't Know How. I really like the beat on Don't Know How. Like I said, a really breathy, breathable, poppy kind of beat. You find that and don't know how a lot of the times. Nobody, not nice, spiteful, and the joy. Even though the joy starts off slow, I really like the chorus of the joy and how it's led off with actual other voices of his in the joy. I think that that's cool. Other than that, I just think that this is an all right album. I'm still kind of indifferent on it. This album definitely has its fair share of bangers, but then again, it has the songs that I just really don't enjoy. One thing that I would like for Party Next Door to do is, I like the rawness of his voice, but try to polish it up just a little bit more, man. Like, just try to try to polish it up just a little bit more, and then we're good money. But other than that, I really like the production on this thing. That Drake feature was solid. It was, it was needed on this album, to be honest with you. But if I was to give this album a rating, I'd have to give it a strong... <laughs> Like I said, I'm still super indifferent on it. Maybe my opinion will change, but I will keep listening to it to see if it does. All right, guys, so if you guys like this album, go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Let me know what were your favorite songs. I already told you guys mine. Like I said, put that in the comment section. I really do appreciate you guys for watching as always. And without further ado, I got to say, hey, Chris out.